wife and I were snowmobiling one time and we stopped for, for lunch, got down in the snow and there were ice crystals that looked like little pine trees. They were about this tall, a lot of them. And they were elegant little things that you wouldn't even notice unless you stopped and got down in the snow. And uh, there are things like that all over. In the 1870s, Thomas Moran accompanied a geological survey into northwest Wyoming to capture the beauty of the American West. Today, artist Jim Wilcox continues to share the natural beauty of Wyoming's open spaces with the rest of the world. He's no arm, armchair enthusiast. He's spending a lot of time clearly in the field making his paintings. And that's what lends them such uh, great credibility and beauty. During nice weather, and sometimes during not so nice weather, I like to go out and paint on location. And I'll usually do a small painting on location and then use it and photographs to uh, do a larger painting when I get back to the studio. Painting outdoors in Wyoming proves to have some challenges. But I used to go out <clears throat> in the wintertime and paint uh, when the temperatures were terrible, uh, you know, 20, 10 degrees or, or lower. And uh, I can remember when I used to paint with acrylic paint, I'd the paint would uh, get ice crystals in it. I'd have to slap it on there and then get home and thaw it out to actually finish the painting. We asked Jim about painting in a time when a perfect representation of almost anything is just a click away. Our time is a little different. We have so many things that are machine made and absolutely perfect that we have started to appreciate more seeing the tool marks of a craftsman. I think it's the duty of the artist to try to give somebody a feeling like the artist had when he was there. Uh, if the air is fresh, if you can give that feeling in the painting, wonderful. Uh, we have a response to the things that we're looking at. If we can transmit that response as well as just a representation of what we saw, then I think we have a more successful painting. There's some emotion in it. Jim's creativity is boundless, from the home and studio he designed in Jackson to a special easel he invented. We were all hauling around these heavy-duty French easels, and he was beginning to tinker with something lightweight and easy to set up. The Soltec easel Jim developed weighs about half as much as most French easels and can be carried in a backpack, allowing those who love to paint the outdoors even greater portability and ease of use. We asked Jim to name his favorite among all of his paintings. I did a painting called Three Last Minutes of Glory, which is the sleeping Indian mountain across the road from us. That painting, I felt, was a gift. I think once in a while, God lets us do a painting that's beyond our capabilities for whatever reason, maybe to give us a, <laughs> a little courage to face the next one. Well, I'm just amazed. The more I, the more I see that there is in the world, the more amazed I am at the beautiful things God made for us to look at. Jim Wilcox, winner of a 2014 Governor's Arts Award.